Fifth request comes from Ryan Fenrich97, and it's about putting unwanted side on the cue ball when you're playing screw shots. Um, the reason you do this is because when you play a screw shot, you're hitting it harder. A screw shot, you're hitting harder than any other shot on the table, really. Um, and that's why you, you lose control of the cue because you put so much power into it. So the principles are, you've got to keep your head as still as possible because as soon as any deviant deviance on your head, then the cue will move and it'll go to the side. Also cue smoothly. Try and keep nice, straight waggles with your cue. Nice, loose grip. Be very still. And that should make you stop putting a wanted set in the cue ball. So cue tip today, we're showing you another way of putting the black in the corner and taking the cue ball to split the reds to try and create an opportunity to win the frame in one visit and make a big break. This is actually a way of going into the pad that I actually prefer than going directly because when you play from top spin off the cushion into the reds, it tends to keep the cue ball in the area of the reds. So what we're going to do, we're going to aim with right hand side, not really high in the cue ball, but higher than middle and almost again like a stun shot. So you can see the cue balls stayed in amongst the reds. We've got a chance to continue the break. It's not perfect, but a good chance to win the frame. Today's cue tip is a different way of potting the black and splitting the reds. Now this is a shot you won't see often played on TV. You won't see many professionals playing it this way, even myself when I was playing. But it tends to rely on two things, the angle you've got in the black and the shape of the bunch of reds. So what we're going to do, we're going to play with top spin in the cue ball and a touch of left hand side. The top spin, which hopefully after hitting the black, will take the cue ball through the reds, open them up nicely. The left hand side in the cue ball is if the cue ball hits this cushion, we want it to go in that direction to make sure we've got position on the red. So in the cue ball, so lots of top spin, slight amount of left hand side. And then you can see the top of the cue ball falling through that little bit left hand side, took it up the table, we're perfect on the red, frame's over.